So our measurements were exactly correct. If you look, we didn't even have to go remeasure or cut anything. Our hive is in the trash can, slid into the holes, perfectly up and down. We're pretty excited with the way that went. But we've got these big gaping holes above the branches in the trash can, and we believe that our get the bees out of the hive method is gonna require a good seal so the bees can only come and go in one direction. So what we've done is taken the pieces that we cut out from the trash can and modified them so they'll fit back into the trash can. And we're gonna use everybody's preferred tool, duct tape, to hold them in place. And that's just to seal up the big giant gaps. After those are sealed up, what we're gonna do is get some steel wool and fill in all of the little bitty cracks that are around the log and any that still remain around the pieces that we're putting back in right now. The reason we're using steel wool is because bees cannot chew through it. The bees would be able to chew through this duct tape, air conditioner insulation, expandable foam, or many other materials that people like to use to try to keep bees out. They cannot chew through steel wool. So that's what we'll use here in a little bit.